At Oxford College of Business, we offer world-class business qualifications awarded by some of the best universities in the world. That's because all we do, all we are, is business education. The Consultation Task Force on Reconciliation Mechanisms and its final report recommends a hybrid court with a majority of national judges as well as sufficient number of international judges. The report recommends that it should ensure at least one international judge per bench. The CDF reports also recommends international participation in the Office of the Special Counsel of Prosecutors and Investigators in addition to the provisions of technical assistance. We spoke to CDF Secretary Dr. Pakisodi Sarumadamuthu for more details. With regard to the mechanisms, there are a lot of observations and recommendations that we have made which are in the nature of confidence building measures. With regard to a new constitution, with regard to a repeal of the Prevention of Terrorism Act, with regard to demilitarization, etc. A number of the submissions made to us insisted that the mechanisms should be located in areas close to where the people who are most affected live, that their working language should be the language of the people of the area. Furthermore, that victims should also be part of the mechanisms when they function. We've also recommended that there be a constitutional right to transitional justice. We've made a number of recommendations with regard to security sector reform, with regard to the role of women, with regard to land, and with regard to youth. We want to make sure that reparations are provided in cash and in kind, and that there are symbolic reparations too in terms of memorialization, in terms of spaces for people to be able to heal. We've also made recommendations with regard to the Truth Commission and we want the Truth Commission findings to filter into the education system as well into the curricula. The controversial recommendation, so it seems, appears to be the one with regard to the hybrid court and our argument is, is that in terms of the submissions that we received, we had submissions that were for a domestic mechanism only, an international one only, and those for a hybrid. The argument there with regard to a hybrid is that because of the perception of the judicial system in the country, that there wasn't sufficient trust and confidence on the part of victims particularly in the North and East, but not exclusively so, in an entirely domestic mechanism. So, because of the lack of trust and confidence, and also because of capacity, we have recommended a hybrid and said that once the trust and confidence has been built up again, and once the capacity issues have been resolved, the internationals can be phased out. We question whether these recommendations could be implemented, given concerns over especially the participation of international judges. The task force was set up by the private Minister, our mandate was to find out people's opinion on the basis that those opinions would feed into and inform the design, the structure, the powers, the functions of the mechanism. So now we have got our report, we have handed it over. It is up to the government to take into account and into consideration what is contained in the report.